Sperm production occurs within the testes where specialized cells orchestrate the continuous creation of millions of spermatozoa each day. Within each testes are hundreds of tightly coiled seminiferous tubules, microscopic factories lined with ceruli cells surrounded by testosterone-producing leydig cells. The process is regulated by the hypothalamic pituitary gonadolaxis. Gonotropin-releasing hormone from the hypothalamus stimulates the pituitary gland to release follicle-stimulating hormone, FSH, and luteinizing hormone, LH. LH stimulates leydig cells to release testosterone, while FSH acts on seroli cells to support germ cell development. Spermatogenesis begins with spermatogonial stem cells. These desired by mitosis, maintaining the stem cell pool while producing cells that will enter meiosis. The differentiating cells, now called spermatocytes, undergo meiosis, having their chromosome number from diploid to haploid, forming genetically unique spermatids. This meiotic process is crucial because it ensures that when a sperm eventually fertilizes an egg, the resulting embryo will have the correct number of chromosomes. The reduction in chromosome number also allows for genetic recombination, contributing to the diversity of offspring. Through spermiogenesis, round spermatids transform into streamlined spermatozoa, condensing their DNA, forming acrosomes, and developing modal tails. This process involves significant morphological changes, including the development of a head filled with condensed DNA, formation of an acrosome, and growth of a flagellum for motility. Sorelli cells provide metabolic support, remove waste, and form the blood test as barrier, protecting developing sperm from immune detection. These cells are not mere bystanders, but active participants in sperm development, providing nutrients and phagocytosin cellular debris. The blood test is barrier they form is crucial in preventing an autoimmune response against the developing sperm cells. Upon completion, mature sperm are released into the tubule lumen in a process called spermiation, beginning their journey through the reproductive tract. Sperm pass through the retestis and efferent ducts into the epidemis, where they undergo final maturation and gain the ability to swim. Fully mature sperm are stored in the epidemis until ejaculation, when muscular contractions propel them through the vast deferens toward the urethra. This final journey involves travel through several structures, the epidemis, vast deferens, ejaculatory ducts, and finally the urethra. Each step in this process contributes to the final maturation and preparation of sperm for their potential role in fertilization.